We live in an age of rebellion, defiance, lawlessness, where innocent people die. Sin has prevailed in this world since the fall of Lucifer. Satan has broken heaven's law and now wants all mankind to defy Yahweh. But will he succeed? Satan has tried every means to get Yahweh's people to break the divine law through worship of other gods, through the leadership of unholy kings, through multitudes of lies and deceptions. Satan's most successful method to cause Yahweh's people to break the divine law is infiltrating our belief system to convince us we no longer need to keep Yahweh's law. Many Christians profess a high regard for Yahushua and his word, yet they are unaware some beliefs lead them into a misinterpretation of Yahweh's word. The concepts law and grace, when misunderstood, lead many to believe there is no need to keep the law. We must know the difference between our being under the law and our being under grace. Does being under grace mean we no longer need to keep the Ten Commandments? What do the scriptures tell us? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yahweh forbid! So we should not continue to sin because of grace. But what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. So we should not continue breaking the commandments because of grace. The Bible has much to say about breaking the law, that is, committing sin. For the wages of sin is death. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So, yes, keeping the law is important. But we cannot be saved by just keeping the law. Therefore, by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. So we cannot be saved by our deeds alone. Revelation 14.12 tells us the saints will keep the commandments and have faith in Yahushua. It is only by Yahushua's grace his people are able to keep the law. What is grace? A verse commonly used to explain grace is for sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What is this verse saying? Before drawing conclusions, continue to the next verse. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Yahweh forbid! Earlier, we saw that sin is breaking Yahweh's law. This verse begins with a simple question. Should we break Yahweh's law because we are under grace? The answer? Yahweh forbid! What then is the purpose of Yahweh's law? The law acts as a mirror to show us where we have sinned. Nay, I had not known sin but by the law. 
The law shows us where we have sinned so that we may be led to Yahushua, who alone has that power to forgive us for all sin by His grace. If ye love me, keep my commandments. We do not keep the commandments in order to be saved. We keep the commandments because we have been changed and no longer desire sin. Yahushua kept the commandments, and as we learn to know Him, we will become more like Him. He who says, I know Him, and does not keep His commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in Him. As shown earlier in Revelation 14.12, the saints are those that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahushua. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. A male driver was speeding and was pulled over for breaking the law. The man should have been punished accordingly. But upon asking for mercy, the police officer let the driver off with only a warning. The driver was now under grace. Do you think this man will continue to break the law because he is under grace? Will he not now drive more responsibly in gratitude to the grace bestowed upon him. It all started with that one sin. And that one sin was the reason Yahushua had to take his place upon a cross. Because the law had been broken, Yahushua chose to die to redeem us. So now, after his death, the law is no longer valid. Yahushua kept the commandments. If ye keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. How is our love for Yahushua revealed? If you love me, keep my commandments. How is our relationship with Yahushua made evident? Now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness.